right, so we have version 52. Uh, these are the release notes. If you check your mail in game, you're gonna see this. You can click on it and you can pull it up. Uh, so the zoom is gonna be a little bit behind. Let me see how much I can get to you. All right, so these are the release notes. Uh, as we know, we've got the Mighty Pets that are gonna be coming November 3rd through the 7th. Uh, I'm gonna wait till we see what, what happens with them, uh, what's gonna happen um, with this actual event. So check back, make sure you check back on the channel in a couple of days uh, when we go over that. So it's got the Magical Flute, uh, different fiends that are going to be showing up, lots of different weird stuff. We got nap time, um, which they have these different features and stuff like that. If you're doing the event, a lot of them don't even really mean anything. So we're going to see how this actually impacts the game. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm drinking seltzer water. Um, falling asleep, all the damage, sleeping characters, stuff like that. Do not wake up a sleeping character. So we got new Mighty Pets heroes. Uh, these are the different ones. Legendary, Hachiko, Toto, Ferdan, Bubbles, Chomper, Epic, Cupcake, uh, Waddles. Um, apparently they're big Miami Dolphins fans. Sorry. Uh, hopefully you got that joke. Uh, Ribbit and Rufus. You get a Pets family. So when the characters actually come out, again, I'm not going to speculate on the actual heroes until they're actually released. Do you have the family bonus here that kind of goes through everything, different minions that you're going to be inheriting, uh, and fiends that will take up less life. Uh, so different passives. Again, I think I'm going to discuss the actual passives and everything like that when we actually see the um, see them actually live. Um. So, like I said, the Mighty Pets family, this is coming out in a couple of weeks. I think it's uh, November 2nd. This one, though, this is the big one. So, this is a classic family update. And after I'm done reading through the notes, we're going to go through and we're going to talk about that, uh, the different heroes. So, uh, everybody's been complaining and talking about how Season 1 heroes are obsolete, which they're absolutely correct. A lot of the Season 1 heroes, I haven't used them in a very long time, especially 5 stars. They just have definitely fallen by the wayside. So this is their way of trying to invigorate our season one heroes. And I'm um, oh, sorry. They're going to be getting a new update. So they're going to be gaining access to superior talents. So you're going to ask yourself, what are superior talents? How does this apply? We're going to I'm going to show you guys that on this video, show you everything that goes on with this whole superior talent situation here. Uh, but if you could do me a huge favor, just leave a quick like. Uh, and if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a ton. Um, so classic family bonus when two. So again, it is two, three, four, five fully ascended classic heroes. So they're going to try and invigorate you to use classic heroes to be all on the same team, which is literally never going to happen. So I don't know why we're doing a two, three, four, five. Um, you're lucky if maybe you get one on your offense and defense. I'm trying to think of situations to where I want to try and force heroes and I just don't see it happening. Uh, maybe like a Marjana costume with Azar costume situation, but I'm not trying to throw them up. So the classic family bonus, uh, one, three, five, and 7% attack, defense, and healing. Um, and then the big difference here is going to be the superior talents. So um, this is where things do get relevant. Uh, so now they have different ones. So it's superior wounds, superior mana shield, pretty much everything superior before. And we're going to go through and talk about which ones are going to be now relevant because of this new superior situation. So, uh, nothing's going to change, uh, in terms of the base thing, but they do have added extra bonus effects that are applied to it. And, um, I'm going to show you this, uh, chart that actually got, um, that was made by a uh, cap as well too. So really, really awesome work there. They got Black Friday summons that are gonna be coming up as well too. We've seen this, which is gonna uh, significantly improve chance to receive useful ether emblems, higher ascension items. We're gonna see, they're just gonna try and trick us into spending money, um, which will not contain those classic heroes we just talked about costumes or mid zero, thank God. Cause that character stinks. Um, does contain all past challenge heroes, here's the month, seasonal heroes, pretty much everything else. Um, 
And there's going to be a new character that which they've already said that that's going to be in there that they're not going to be putting through beta, which if we I am assuming they're probably going to make it pretty ridiculous, uh, but there will be another character like Mitsuro that um, that we're not going to know until it's actually released. Uh, so there are three new heroes that are going to be coming into the game. Um, new Masquerade with uh, Fortuna, um, which apparently is really for um, sea creatures, uh, namely Tuna. Fortuna? Oh, never mind. All right, sorry, bad joke. A uh, Jove. And then they're going to have Masquerade uh, family bonus. So probably going to be spoiling the Masquerades. We're going to see how those get re released. And <clears throat> new Mysterio hero, secret hero, whose name is an Enigma. So we'll see how that comes out. Again, it's got the memory memory slots. Uh, Mitsuro is going to be part of the mystery family that's going to be coming out. Uh, Faded Summon, if you guys are wondering what's going on with the whole Faded Summon, I'm going to release a video on this coming up in two days. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel where I go through everything with the Faded Summon. I'm um, going to be discussing all the different things and stuff like that, well, how that works, all that kind of stuff like that. So I'm not going to really go into it too much because there's way too much. Um, so I don't want to make this, this video super long. Uh, so they are going to be releasing new monster lores coming for Valhalla Heroes, Atlantis Rises. I still have yet to use any sort of the lores. Not really something I really care about too much. Um, you guys let me know in the comments if you guys actually use the lores. Uh, so they have new contest of elements, new, new bonus trainer heroes, making five star elemental summons now grants you two bonus trainer heroes draws, which should be interesting. <coughs> Again, another way to invigorate you spending money and some balancing adjustments, add a new icon for barbarian bleed. Uh, there's two different types of bleeds, so they have to, um, give a new one. Sticking type and non barium bleed. So they have two different types. Um, a little bit to Rockamush and Ty's, Bure, uh, Ty's bleed damage. Um, okay, somebody in the chat just said lures are definitely worth the money. Got a lot of loot. Interesting. Um, maybe I should start using lures. Flat damage. All right, getting into bleed. You want to stage rebalancing changes from now feel like PVP raid battles, which I actually did like the covenant quest. That was kind of interesting. Lowered the difficulty for the masquerade quest, uh, stage eight onward. A lot of people complained about that. Lowered the mana speed, season five. All right, so this one's interesting. I wanted to discuss about this the other day. Uh, new anti cheat measures added detection and prevention systems in response to cheating involving battle use. Uh, keep the item fair for the whole community. Extremely important to us. Attempt to further abuse a cheat will be considered serious violation. Please do not jeopardize your account for cheating. Uh, I'm going to let you guys know. I did try this actually the day before this came out. And it was like right after the, the patch release. And I personally can confirm that you were still able to cheat on this game when it came to battle items. Whether that means that the battle detection is going to be able to detect people, I don't know. I really hope so. Uh, I was actually really, really upset when I saw the video. Um, let me all put a link to it that um, that was just done regarding this cheat from uh, from Mr. Spock uh, going through all this kind of stuff. I can personally tell you, confirm that there was a way for you to 100% cheat and not have your battle, battle items used. Uh, it would use world energy, but I can personally confirm that this is very real. It definitely was a situation. I don't want to get into the ins and outs of it. I wanted I wanted to display it. I wanted to show you guys it. That's why I even tried it because I heard from from other people and I was like, yeah, this actually does work. Um, so I don't think that they deleted my account, which is good because I wasn't trying to cheat. I was just trying to confirm for you guys making content if they did actually fix this. And I don't even think that they did it. Maybe they made a way to detect it. And they're just going to silently ban people as stuff does come along. They did that in the past. But ultimately, I feel like if stuff is known, I can almost guarantee you that if Mr. Spock didn't make that video, that people that nothing would have happened. So as a content creator, I feel it is important for things to be shown and displayed and for it to be talked about, because if there are people that are exploiting bugs, it needs to be fixed. And 
I, for one, think that that is trash if they don't do it. So um, let's make sure that we're always loud about situations that come up like this uh, because it should be fair for everyone. Um, so, yeah. So other improvements, uh, they added the battle text show for clarity. We did see that earlier. Um, shows the specific things. So description text for Hawthorne special skills have been added for clarity. Uh, Winfried's passive added for clarity. Items now list in greater detail where they'll be obtained, which should be interesting. I haven't even checked that out. So it might help out to know where, where stuff is actually at. Um, we did see the raid tournament rules. It's kind of interesting. And description where the food bundles and IRA bundles can be obtained. War rolls now displayed and ready. Uh, coordinates and quests. So it doesn't collide with other quest maps, which goes to show you how much stuff they have going at the same time. Maybe they should figure that out with, uh, you know, summons offers. Uh, art revised for Hawkmoon, both original and costume. Black Knight costume now uses a correct attack buff icon, boss wave, sound effects no longer missing from certain areas, and Covenant quests, um, Dark Element Barriers. So, here's no longer retain counterattack until shoot. So, just very nitty specific things. Level up view no longer displays incorrect stats for limb broken emblem heroes. All right, no region stuff. Odd spacing for Japanese. All right, so nothing too crazy else. Um, a lot of updates in this. All right, so that's pretty much everything in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go through all the different little heroes. So give me one second because I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to go to the form and pull up where... Um, where Cap has actually made this uh, this list. So, one second. Form. This is really important for you guys to see, actually. Um, and I will put the link down in the um, I'll put the link down in the description where uh, where Cap went over everything. So, huge shout out there. All right, so uh, if you want to, you can also just, uh, you can Google probably uh, form.smallgiant and master discussion superior talents. So, oh, sorry, this was, uh, I, uh, this is Play for Fun, also known, I think it's Cap is the one that actually works on this. So you guys are wondering, what are these superior talents? What does it mean? So when a character gets to the 20th node, they automatically will gain the superior talent. Uh, let me show you what that's like. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me pull this up. Okay. So when you go, uh, this is just kind of the first one that I could pull up. This is now the classic family. We already went over what the bonus that they get here, but these are the talents. Uh, so if you go and you look at the talent grid, I didn't have to do anything uh, to do this. So it automatically just gave me the superior talent, which is really cool. So as soon as I reach the end, as soon as you're done giving 20, you automatically get the superior superior talent. So going through the superior talent, you can see now that this has a 50% chance to get 25 defense for two turns after receiving any damage. Here, let me pull this up. Um, if this effect is triggered this year and nearby allies recover 10% health, the effects are applied at the end of the turn. So that's the, um, that's the new version versus this is the old version which is 25% chance to get 25% defense for two turns after receiving any damage effects applied at the end of the turn. So you can see this is a substantial amount. Uh, being able to go ahead and bring it up, you get it over to that point, you're now doubling it. And uh, in addition to that, you're gonna also be getting some, uh, some healing. So there is a huge incentive now to where you have your classic heroes 
and you are working on getting them upgraded and getting them up, especially if they are going to be great heroes to be using, uh, being able to now have double the chance and also gaining uh, healing recovered from it um, is actually relevant. So um, people are going to ask, like, these superior talents, are they worth it? I think that the heroes that are going to benefit the most are going to be the three stars and the four star heroes. Those are going to be benefit hugely. Um, and what it's going to also do is any characters that were good are just going to be even better now. So uh, does this mean that like you're going to start seeing uh, regular Magni on defenses now because of this? No, I don't think so at all. But uh, characters like Cato and Costume are going to be awesome. Um, they're just going to make it better. Uh, it's going to be more annoying for that. Uh, the ability to be dodging, doing different things. So looking through this list, which is pretty cool that they were able to uh, to bring this up. Um, give me a second. Uh, so these are the different, these are the different lists now. So going through, uh, Barbarian, uh, this has a 50 superior wound, has 50% chance to apply bleeding from any normal attack. This effect deals 60% of damage done by normal attacks over five turns. This effect stacks with similar effects. This effect is triggered, uh, gets 30% attack for three turns. So, uh, this might be relevant against Titans. It's kind of interesting. Dealing 60% of the damage done by normal attacks over five turns. Um, Barbarian uh, applying this new wound might be relevant against Titans coming up. Not sure, but still, that's pretty sweet. Uh, superior mana shield, 60% chance to resist any negative mana effects, um, to prevent special skills triggered. Um, and if this effect is triggered, the negative effects are reflected back to the caster. Uh, so that's going to be kind of relevant. Um, trying to think of like, like it's cool, but it, am I going to run like Vivica now on my defense? I don't know. I don't think so. You know what I mean? Uh, superior companion. Kind of interesting. 45% chance to summon an empowered thorn minion. Um, gets 25% of the HP. Uh, superior revive, which is wild. 35% chance to revive with one HP and 50% additional mana after the fatal attack. Revive is applied at the end of the turn. So more revive and also getting mana. Okay. Um, again, does that make Magni costume come into play or sorry? Yeah, sorry. Magni costume. Yeah. Cause Magni costume is the, the fighter, I believe. I believe, uh, you'll let me know which one's the actual fighter. Um, but still, is it enough to put it over? No, but I think it's a, a niche little thing. That's going to be interesting. I think these are going to, these are going to be way better for uh, when we have the release of the additional second costumes. Like, that's, I think, where things are going to get most relevant. Classic Season 1 heroes aren't aren't going to be super, super amazing with it. Uh, Monk now has Superior Withstand, 50% chance uh, to resist negative sad effects. This, If this effect is hero uh, is triggered, this hero attacks caster with 100% damage. So, resisting uh, now is going to be reflecting 100% of the damage. Pretty cool. Again, we already did the superior protect, 50% uh, chance. Now also 25% and also giving uh, recovering health. It's going to be relevant for tanks and stuff like that. Superior pierce, 60% uh, chance to bypass defensive buffs. Includes counterattacks as trigger. Also receives 168 bleed damage over three turns. That one might be the least, least of them, but still is pretty sweet. Uh, superior evade, 30% chance to dodge direct damage from offensive special skills. And when it's triggered, nearby enemies get 15% chance to dodge. So, yeah, Rogue is going to be super annoying. Uh, more chance to dodge. And when the dodge happens, you're also making it so everybody else dodge. It's going to be a whole bunch of dodge. Uh, superior Delay, 60% 60 60 chance to drop the mana generation of the enemy by minus 50% for two turns after dealing damage. Effect applied at the end of the turn. Okay. Um... Kind of annoying. 
Superior Jinx, 50% chance to dispel any all active buffs and deals 15% extra damage per each active buff, uh, buff on the enemies have. Extra damage both apply to attacks and special skills. So being able to dispel all active buffs is pretty, pretty awesome. And the dealing additional damage. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so these are all the different heroes by class. So again, I'll leave this in the comments if you want to go ahead and check it. Um, just reading through this. Um, yeah, so like uh, Sarnia Costume 2. Interesting. For clerics. I think the Costume 2s are going to... They might they might make their, their, their appearance for sure. Uh, basic heroes that I think get impacted by this. Uh, fighters definitely going to be relevant. Hmm. Paladin will be interesting. So these are all the ones. What do you think, character? Which one you're 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 most excited to see? I mean, there's a lot of great four stars and three stars that are going to be getting this feature. Um, a lot of great ones. What do you guys think? Uh, let me read through comments real quick. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? So, um, So I uh, do have to let you guys know that this is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, I'm going to read through your guys' comments uh, on this, and I'd appreciate if you guys stick around. Check it out. Um, Raid Shadow Legends, uh, they, they do a lot of really, really cool things. So one of the things that they're doing is they're actually doing this free Death Knight just by logging in. Uh, unfortunately, if you just downloaded it, you won't be able to take advantage of this. But they're giving away literally a free legendary awesome character um just for playing so they have ultimate death knight which i'll show you um i'm really excited that tomorrow i'm going to be unlocking this they've also got different summon boosts and stuff like that i'm going to show you that guys in a second um guys i'd really appreciate if you guys are appreciating the content that i'm making with empires and puzzles if you guys download raid shadow legends it really 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 helps me out um if you guys are wondering like hey guys like i want to like i want to support anchor i want to help them out well if you want to do that I'd recommend you just click on that link, download Raid Shadow Legends. You get a whole bunch of free stuff just for checking, checking it out. So um, if you want to support me, it really, really, really helps me out a ton. It helps make it so that when I make content for you guys on, on EP, um, that it keeps me to where I can keep making content for you guys. So if you guys haven't already, I'd really, really, really appreciate it if you do download Raid Shadow Legends. So let me go through. I'm going to read through the comments. Somebody said they're a big Finns fan. Average Josh making bad decisions. Raiders win and anchor stream. Nice. What's up, Aaron? How are you, man? Uh, when do we anticipate these changes? They're already live. Still enjoy Gravemaker. Yep. Uh, it's for free to play, more likely to only have classic. I could see that. Recently got Onotel and Urius. Which would I consider relevant? Uh, I still really like Onotel. Um, Yark, if you're still here. Superior Revive is already superior enough. I know, right? Black Friday Mystery Hero will, will be a Nature Paladin. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, or confirmed or not. I'm not saying it's wrong. I just don't know, personally. Uh, second costume, Vivica, with talent skill, pretty amazing. Yeah, Woshek, I think that that's where we're going to see a lot of our really cool stuff is um, with the second costume. Twilight says, I just want to say the best part of EP is Anchor. Uh, thank you so much, Twilight. I really, really appreciate it. Lords are definitely worth the money. All right. I probably should probably do those. Spelling buff is awesome. Yeah. Marjana Cosmos and three more tiles, more buff. Yeah. Why is SG increasing the summoning portal gem costs? They are only doing it on some of the portals, Donald. Is it me or has a loot and chest stuff been really bad lately? Uh, it just, it goes in ebbs and flows, David. Shared Spock uh, video. Yeah. Um, it's a good one for sure. With all these people having fully leveled heroes, troops, day, I feel like there might be an exploit to summon tokens. No, there's no exploit trip. They just uh, have too much money to go ahead and spend. Um, 
There's definitely not an exploit. The closest thing to an exploit was like the video I came out with, which I don't know if that's even confirmed uh, as far as the sensor method. Uh, Magician is best. Yeah. Healing for Paladin is not bad. Yeah. What up, Zavex? How are we doing? Fighter for Obacon costume two. Yep. Yeah. I think the costume twos are going to be the ones that it's going to get the biggest one. Should we superior talents spread across all heroes? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, Mike. Are these superior talents going to be uh, extended out to everyone? You know, with Quentin costume will be sick. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Quintus costume. Bard reset. Yeah. Wizard's best is spelling the tiles. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Doesn't help. Still old and obsolete. That's good. That's good. Good perspective. No Stradamus. I think that it's going to make future heroes that are based off the classics good. With the class down, activate before, on, or after because Ulmer is a wizard to spell before all adding. I don't know the sequence of it. Because I think it happens randomly. I don't know. That's a good question, Trip. Rare and epic tournaments. I could see that. Love your ratings. Any chance hero a month? Uh, hero on my site. Possibly. Um, nice to see you again. Thanks, Jack. Should have clarified. Form says, okay, Mysterio be nature paladin. Interesting. Gender, we don't know much except for it's green. Interesting. Uh, do I think Anne will be in the Black Friday sermon? Yes, I do, Echo. What's up, Shawn Michael? My team has come along since its last stream. Oh, that's funny. Um, all right. So, like I said, guys, if you could do me a huge favor, uh, check out Ray Chatter Legends. It really, really, really does help me out a lot. Um, they added some new cool things to this. Uh, they have a new dungeon that just came out too, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is Twin Tower Fortress, um, which this thing like was definitely relevant. Yeah, Anne is definitely great. I do like Anne. Um, and if you guys haven't, guys, like I said, check out check out Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, there's a lot of people that were, came came on here. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you guys do check it out. And um, like I said, I will have the the new video that will be out on Wednesday. One of the things is this. I like doing this a lot. And you can auto literally pretty much everything. It's finally got you retaining legendary heroes no more spending money. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's all you can do, David. David, if you if you don't uh, feel like you're going to play it a ton, that's fine. Even just showing that you're downloading and checking the game out, um, it helps me out a lot, David. So um, let me know. You know, a lot of people have uh, downloaded the game and really, really like it. So it uh, definitely gives you a um, it's a completely different game. Um, there's the only similarity between it is that you're like collecting different champions versus heroes. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, game's completely different. A uh, whole different feel, whole different vibe. Um, whole lot better graphics. A lot of stuff. You can play it on the computer. I mean, there's a lot of different things. So if you haven't checked out Raid, it really does help me out a lot. You got Anne as you're finishing. Uh, Zune, now you're waiting. Darts full Wolf King. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I definitely do Anne over Wolf King. Anne is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's definitely got Final Fantasy vibes for sure. Yeah, I gotta play a different. Yeah, it's definitely there for sure, Sean. I'm pretty sure it's gonna kill me. We'll see. Tyrell, go the distance, bro. Uh, sorry, bro. Had to dump raid because your wife didn't like me spending hundreds every month on EP, let alone raid two. That's funny, Ed. Hey, I mean, check it out. It's awesome. 
Have I noticed a new Faded Summon? Yeah, so uh, Hovsep, I'm going to release a video just on that coming on Wednesday, I promise. Uh, I'm going to talk all about the Faded Summon. Because that one, that one's I'm going to have to explain a decent amount from that. And I want to make sure that I uh, articulate and go into it. Um, and I, I think it definitely was good for its like own video. So I didn't want to make this video crazy long. But I'm going to talk about Faded Summon in two days. Just be on the lookout. And it's just going to be a straight content video on it. Um, so I should mention you get a whole bunch of free stuff from downloading. Um, oh, by the way, guys, if you're still on this, guess what, guys? They have a way that you can get a $100 free gift card from Amazon. How sweet is that? Um, I, I've, I can't believe I forgot that. So the, the real MVPs... Uh, guys, if you ever wanted a, a reason to download and check out Raid Shadow Legends, now is the time because you can, you can win, uh, a bunch of free stuff in, in real life. Like how does a free Amazon gift card sound and no purchase necessary, nothing like that. You just download the game. And I already tried it on my end, and it didn't work. But here, all you got to do, I put it in the chat here as well. Uh, after you download... Hold on. After you download it, you go to trickortreat.plarium.com to win a whole bunch of real life and in-game prizes. And it's only available for new users. So the best possible experience, make sure you do the desktop version. Uh, let's actually pull this up. Um, check this out, guys. This is super cool. Hold on. Um, give me a second. Uh -huh. I don't know why this switched on me. Not that. I'm gonna show you guys, this is really, really cool. Okay. Actually. Check this out. Okay, yeah, it's going to be on that one. So, if you go to this link, like I just put, all you got to do, you got to download it. Um, and you can only, this is only for new players, okay? So, you have to use it. Um, all you got to do, download the game. And then you come over here where it says for you to enter in your raid player ID to spin. And then you spin it and you have a chance. There's $1,000 gift cards to Amazon, $250 gift card, $100 gift card, $50 gift card to Amazon. Um, a whole bunch of other different stuff that's in there too. Uh, so you get this literally just for downloading the game. Um, and this is only available for new players. So uh, make sure you guys do that as well too. It's right there. Uh, the link's right in the description. And like I said, you could win a $1,000 free gift card to Amazon. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's put this back on. Uh, where am I from? Just in the state, I'm a it's beautiful right now. Oh, um, wish it lasted longer. I'm in um, I'm in Massachusetts too, but I'm in uh, South. Admittedly, only gave it about twenty minutes. Didn't like Ray because it didn't have match three from last week. Don't like games where computer does everything for you. So, um, Apex. There are, um, as you, as you get, uh, deeper in the game, um, me, I'm super lazy, but if you want to actually be good at the game, uh, unlike me, um, 
you uh you definitely are not going to want to do that. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in Massachusetts. What up, Jay? How are you doing? Uh, so they have different, like, awakening things, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm always drinking sparkling water. That's my go-to. You got the, that BJ. BJ's uh, special. Sorry, Susie. Um, they got these awakening blessings that just came out, which is pretty cool. They always have different uh, summoning events that happen, too. Uh, they give you different fragments, so you get characters for completely free just by playing the game. Um, like free legendaries. Uh, they've got different tournaments that have go that, that go on as well, too. There's so many different things you can do. Uh, automatic level upgrader. So while you're not doing anything, you can just level your level your characters. Um, there's, uh, artifacts that you can, that you can enchant and everything like that. Get different, uh, artifacts. There's so much, so much crazy cool stuff that you can do in this game. Oh, you're in Haverhill. Oh, sweet. You like how I didn't call it, uh, Haverhill? Yeah, Haverhill. Yeah, I know, I know Haverhill. Uh, super raids are cool. Uh, one of the things I like about it, they have super raids to where you can, you raid, um, but it counts as double. So even if you do it once, you actually do it twice. Raid looks fun, no doubt, but EP now I'm invested. It's all good. Sean, check it out. You just check the game out. You don't need it. You don't need to become obsessed with it. Like I said, I get credit for you downloading and checking it out. Uh, Sean, even if you just download it and try and do the the Amazon gift card to see maybe you maybe you win a thousand dollar gift card. You call it Haverhill. That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, Sean, just just download it. You know, go to that go to that that free trick or treat and um and do a spin and maybe you win a thousand dollar gift card to Amazon. Like it's free stuff. Speaking of May, I had a debate. How do you pronounce uh, Waltham? No, it's Waltham, not Waltham. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, names that are weird in uh, Massachusetts. Like this one. This is a classic. Now I'm like second guessing on how to spell it. There we go. There you go. How you pronounce that one? Can't my man jammed up memory? Hey, I mean, Sean, it's up to you. It's definitely up to you, man. Or have some have somebody else do it. Maybe have your wife or. Or something like that. Doesn't have to be your phone. Could be somebody else's. Could be your kid's phone. Just download it. Check the game out. Put it in there. Test it out. Do a thing and uh, see if you see if you get something free. All right. Um. All right, guys. So I'm gonna head out. Like I said, I've got the content video that's coming out uh, in two days. I really, really appreciate everybody coming and chilling with me on stream make sure you guys like the video uh especially if you hung out this long and uh and i'll be back again very shortly uh i'd really appreciate if you guys do download raid shadow legends uh really really helps me out and uh i will see you guys all on the next one. Oh, you're single huh? sorry jams i'm i'm leaving but you can just re-watch re the stream uh then find a girlfriend sean you know find a girlfriend 
<laughs> I'm just messing. All right. I uh, will see you guys all very, very, very soon.